As you will know, this has been an extraordinarily difficult day for many members in this House. But for me, this is the most difficult day I've had to endure in my parliamentary career. We are now over a month on from the atrocious attacks by Hamas on October the 7th, and we were all right to utterly condemn those attacks. But ahead of the votes that we are going to take in a moment, I wanted to let the House know that today I lost my first family member. And the reason why this is important, having spoken about how they are in a church in Gaza City, and how they didn't, I'm afraid, die of a bomb. Instead, they died perhaps for lack of food, perhaps for dehydration. Their health deteriorated in the last week and they couldn't get to the hospital they needed. Today, I wanted to vote for peace. I wanted to be voting for a two-state solution because that's the only way that these horrors will never be seen again. I wanted to vote for getting Hamas out of Gaza. And I wanted to vote for those reasons for an immediate bilateral ceasefire so that families like mine, but also families in Israel, don't have to endure this anymore. I urge colleagues from all sides to bear in mind that this is more than just party politics right now. I have been so disappointed by language I have heard today. The Prime Minister earlier suggesting that we weren't on the side of Israel. Order, order, please. Deepest condolences, I'm sure, from the House, but this is clearly not a matter for the Chair. So we let the, the comments that you've made stand. Thank you. No, 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 no. Please resume your seat. This is not a matter for the chair. So please resume your seat. No, 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 no. Please resume your seat. We have expressed our deepest condolences, but this is not a matter for the chair and therefore not a legitimate point of order during this debate. Front bench contributions, David Lammy. Yeah. Well, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I think the whole House would want to send their deepest condolences to the member for Oxford West and Aberdeen with what we have just heard. Um, this has been a strong and a powerful debate this afternoon on the King's speech and all of us sitting here, despite the most challenging and difficult of circumstances in the Middle East. I feel, I think, feel very grateful for the depth and quality of the contributions.